Hey, hey everyone, welcome to Attila's Gym. This is Paul Canoe with Canoe Fitness, and this is gonna be my first training vlog. Today is chest day. It's a deload chest day. I'm moving around for this week, so I'm trying not to go too heavy, but I'll show you what a deload actually looks like. All right, so first set is gonna be a nice warm up set of 20 and an incline with 135. Main focus is to get the pumps going a little bit, just trying to get the muscle ready to go and ready to fire. That's the warm-up set. All right, so the first deload working set is gonna be 205 with maybe 10 to 12 reps. This is light, really light. I'm usually hitting like 275 for maybe like 10 to 12 reps, but since the deload week, I kind of just wanna feel the muscle a little bit, just warm it up, get it like tight, but not like too pumped up, you know what I mean? The essential point of having a deload is to basically just give the body a break from all the heavy lifting, heavy training, and then just go a little bit soft sometimes. Very light load. So it's a, it's a light deload. I'm hitting 50s on incline is my second uh, exercise. It's gonna be really light, slow, steady. I think when you're doing deloads, you have to like lower the weight, but also really, really focus more on the execution and the form and being able to feel the muscle without going super duper heavy. Like you know how like pro bodybuilders are always just like feel the muscle, feel the weight. Kilos are the best time to do that because your weights are so much, they're so less than what they usually are. But now you're able to focus more on execution, form, tempo, slowing down, squeezing every muscle fiber. And I'll show you a bit of an example of that right now. stretch. I could feel it a lot better doing that than if I was like hitting like 120s, 150s because the weight is just so much lighter that you can just feel that deep stretch when you go all the way at the bottom, stretch it out, get that pause and just explode up, but at the same time kind of just like flex the bicep at the top. Even without weights, you kind of still, still see the muscle fibers in there. I just got one more set. Ugh. Ugh. 
it's not that much of a lightweight, but when you really focus on that particular muscle group and just really squeeze, contract, the pumps are, they're really good. All right, so the one thing that I really like to do when I'm really like hitting more than one uh, body parts per session, essentially, I warmed up with the incline for my chest. As you see, when I went straight to uh, the incline, um, incline dump, dumbbell bench, I just went straight to the set that I needed to focus on. But with this, it's a little bit of a different body part that I'm aiming for. So I'm gonna have to warm up my rear delts before I even get to the actual working set. So it's gonna be like one to two sets of just like warming up the rear delts and then do a single working set of uh, whatever weight you can get, get on there. I can already feel on the rear delts. They're like really, really tight. All right, time for that working set. We're at 100, so trying to keep it light. And usually I aim for like 20 plus reps, but it's a deload week. Just have some fun with it. Can't be uh, going hard all the time. Sometimes it's good to take a step back and just. keep trying to repeat myself, but the deloads are great for just actually feeling the muscle themselves. So I just did like maybe a single deload working set and my rear delts are already like kind of pumped up. So that's a good feeling. Plus I drank a lot of uh, Gatorade earlier today. So these are actually my favorite movements, the lateral raises. And um, so I don't necessarily need to warm up for this because when you do your pressing movements, your shoulders are already pretty much warmed up. So all you gotta do is just pick up the weight and just bang it up. You also don't really need to go super heavy for uh, lateral raises. It's all about just the tension and really just focus on your lateral delts. Oh, I feel that, oh my God. Like, 
granted, I could like ladder race like 60s, 65s last week actually. But sometimes you gotta drop the ego a little. And a final exercise to finish everything up with this wonderful, amazing dealer today. Bicep curls. Because curls for the girls, right? There's one particular exercise that I love, and that is the single arm bicep curl. Especially if it's dumb with dumbbells, but today, let's focus more on just machines. Um, it's always good to use less weight on a single arm uh, curl, just so you can focus a little bit more on the biceps and on the feet. So for example, these ones. It's all more about that extra focus. Putting that constant tension on the biceps ah, makes it feel really good. Get that deep stretch. You pause at the top. My arms are already kind of getting pumped up right now. Because all that entire focus is on that particular bicep and not being used elsewhere. As you can see, this is my favorite arm to work. Because <laughs> this is literally the strongest arm, but it's also the smallest. But this is the biggest, but it's also the very, um, the weakest. So it's a little all over the place. It's also about an insurgent, but let's talk about this one's a lot bigger. Ah, boom, it's the other me, without the glasses. So I got done my workout. I came in here with essentially no pumps. Now I'm kind of like semi pump, but that was my chest, shoulders, and bicep day, and got a pretty good workout and I enjoyed it. So this is just the one of many future videos that's gonna be coming along. So if you like the materials and like what you see, subscribe, like, share, comment down below, and also follow me on Instagram at can you lift? Because uh, I can obviously lift. Look at me. I'm an IPB pro. I'm Jackson.